Okay. Good evening, everyone. Um, it's Monday evening. It's just 7 p.m. So it's time for Sharon Phil's teaching on a Monday night. Hooray. So this evening and Wednesday evening this week, we're going to be going through some tango valse with you. Um, it's a lovely dance, so hopefully you can join in with this uh, beautiful music. So it will be um, quite a, a, an interesting experience for you because it's mixing Argentine tango with Viennese. So um, we're looking forward to it. We hope you are as well. So as usual, we are just going to go through our house rules, which uh, if you're going to dance with us, then uh, what we'd like you to do is make sure that all the furniture is moved out of the way. Move those chairs, sofas, um, anything that may get in the way that's got a hard surface to it that you might knock yourself on. So move all them out of the way. If by any chance you have um, a slippy floor or a wooden floor, something like a laminate floor that uh, may be slippy, do make sure that that's secure, and especially if you've got a rug on it or something, make sure that that can't slip about or take it up. Um, also be careful if you're just dancing in stocking feet as well. Uh, do also have a drink on the side for yourselves, just in case. If you've got any pets in the house, I almost forgot that one. <laughs> if you've got any pets in the house, make sure that they are secure so neither they nor you can get injured in any way. Um, just mention the drinks. Shana's got herself a nice drink there, just um, on the side. Yes, yeah, so top up your drinks ready, which you may well need. It's been a beautiful day here with us today. And through there, on the left, as ever, are ladies and gents lose, which you may well need. Right, so tango valse. Uh, what I can say is that uh, the Argentine tango is uh, a dance which is quite different, different rules to it, di uh, completely different set of steps and movement with it. And of course, this what we're going to do tonight because what we have done over you know over these last weeks is we've done some Argentine tango with you, we've done an Argentine stroll, and we've done an Argentine tango, tango malonga with you. Now we're doing Argentine tango valse. So um, some of it you might just recognise if you joined us for the uh, the malonga. Yes, very yes, similar. The, yeah, they're a little bit similar. Yeah. Music's totally different. It's a little bit slower uh, and more uh, melodic. Definitely. So, uh, what we will do is, I'm going to pass you back to Shanna here, who's just going to uh, let us know who's joining us tonight and if there's any comments before we start. Now, do you think we're live? I wonder, Ooh. do you think we're live or do you think we're pre recorded? Ah, yeah. I don't know. It could go either way, couldn't it? Let's see how accurate these are. Mm -hmm. Here we go, this is the tester. Yeah. Guess who's on first? Andrew. He is. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, hi from Medi. Hello, Medi over there. Oh, Bangor. Carol Maloney. I like that name. Good mm. evening. Right. Julian says good evening to everyone. Stephanie and David say hello. Louise and Brendan say hi. Andrew and Wendy with us in Surrey, Stonehaven. Mm -hmm. Good evening all from Christine. Martin and Anna. Martin said he used to do tango gals. Now I think he means tango vals. At Argentine tango class, but he was never a big fan. Well, mm -hmm. if we change your mind, Martin, that will be our work has yes. done. Mm -hmm. uh, Pat and Neil say hi. Um, hi, everyone from David and Adele. Melvin and Marilyn are here and ready. Oh, he just said type, typo, he meant vals. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Carol's on. Oh, long head, Carol. Yes. Hello, everyone. Hi from Pat and Mike. Mm -hmm. Hello, you two. Um, Celia from Eastbourne says hi. John Goldburn, there's one or two new names, says hello all. Mm -hmm. uh, Caroline and Bob say hi everyone from Norfolk. I'm waving here, you yes. can't see me but I'm waving away. Um, hi from Charmouth, from Andrea. Gaynor and Doug say hi. Oh Paddyham, I don't say that, Paddyham? Paddyham. Lancashire. Yeah, Paddyham. Uh, Karen and Steve say good evening everyone. Excellent. So there are Facebookers at the moment, are YouTubers, We've got John and Marie in Lutterworth. We've got a windy but nice West Bay, Gillian oh, right. Albert. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Ian and Liz in Rain Hill. Uh, Christine Dixon's on. She says, great to be able with you live rather than catching up. Yay! Um, and Clifford and Veronica are looking forward to another great night. Fantastic. Excellent. Um, oh, Tony and Jeannie are on. They say hi. 
and Mike Holbert also says hi all. Good. There we go. Right. Okay. Uh, Tango Vals. Tango Vals. So I will start with my back to you. So leaders, you will just get uh, be able to see my steps. So I'll start here. Um, we're going to do that traditional invitation. So we're going to go back on our right foot. So we've got right foot back and left foot to the side. We're then going to come through with our right foot again, forward, forward on our left foot, to the side on the right and close on the left, to the side on the right and close on the left. So that's an eight count. All this is in eight counts. So we've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, do that once more. We've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll do it this way for you. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, leaders, just try that eight count. See how you're getting on. Uh, do let us know, give us those thumbs up or those uh, little hearts. And then Shanna will go over her steps. Is it four? You're doing it once more then for leaders. I will do it once more, yes. So I'll do it once this way. So we're going to step backwards first on the right foot. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll do it once this way around with my back to the camera. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the leaders can perhaps have a little practice. Mm -hmm. And am I on? And yes. the followers, I'm going to put my back to you, so I'll put my mic on. So it's just the same as the Malonga we did a few months ago now. So it's called a Baldosa box. We're going to do the invitation, which is forward on our left. We go to the side on our right. We're going to do two steps back down the room now. So one, two. And we're going to do two side closes to our left. Side, close, side, close. Exactly the same as the Malonga. Exactly the same. We'll try it again. So we're going to go forward, left, to the side, right, and that's the one, two, and that's the invitation. So that's one, two. We're going to do our two walks down the room for three, four. Three, four. And we're going to do our side close, side close for five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, do it once more. Here we go, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more go. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, I'm just going to come and check, see if there are any questions or anything. I'm sure we're okay with that. Oh, looks okay. No questions so far? So, should we do it with the music separately? Yes. So, the, when we do Viennese, obviously Viennese is very rotational. And this does, this dance does become rotational in parts. Um, but at the moment, we're staying with these basic steps. So in the Viennese, you've got one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And in the Viennese waltz, you use every step, one, two, three, step, side, close. Thankfully, in this one at the moment, we're just using the first beat. So we're just doing the one, two, three, two. We're just using the numbers, the main numbers, the first accent count of each bar. So if it's leader, just as leader, and I'll call it, and hopefully you'll see what I mean. So he's gonna are you ready? So yes. you're gonna do and go one, two, three, two, two, 
three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three. So you're just using the bar, one step per bar at the moment. One more go. Yes. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. So it's nice and slow, even though the music, sort of, it's really joyous and fast moving. We're not going to use every count yet. We can use syncopated beats as we go, but not at the moment. So we put the music on. Should we do it as leader first? Yes. So you just have a good old practice. Five, six, seven, and two. It could be one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, once more, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Oh, Cheryl and John are not down south anymore. They're the complete opposite. They're quite up in Stock Scotland. Jedburgh, Ooh. where's Jedburgh? In Scotland. Right. In the camper van. It must be sunny oh, at the moment. Right. It must be lovely and sunny. Okay, followers, we'll do it to music so you can get used to that that beat. It can't be different to what we're used to. And then we'll get together. Seven, eight, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, once more, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, got a, a little check in and see how you all are. So you can either you can either uh, type it in saying okay good carry on, or can you just go through it again or whatever, okay or a heart or a like or a sad, anything it's over to you. While we do that, we'll just maybe just let Phil do it once more through. I'll just wait for them to come in. I've obviously we've got a little bit of a delay. Shall we do to music or no? Yeah. No, let's do it to music, can I? Yeah. Just come in. One or two are coming in. Yeah, Pat's just said, uh, what's the music? To be honest, we've only got this one tonight, haven't we? We didn't download any other ones. Um, it's called Tango for London. And we went to a workshop, and as soon as they started to play the music, everyone fell in love with the dance, mm -hmm. didn't they? Um, it's, the album is called Tango for London. Okay, so I think it was track number two or three on it. Mm -hmm. It's all different, ta it's not all valses, it's all different sorts. Uh, but this is a tango valse. So yeah, Tango for London. We've got um, thum, 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 thum. Okay. Excellent. It's all going well. So we need to have a go together. Mm -hmm. Should we just do the feet first? We'll just get used to... Yes. Because we need to explain we're outside partner, don't we? Yeah. Do that way yeah. yeah. So the invitation, you're in line with partner. Then remember, just like the malonga, on the second step, leader takes a slightly longer step two. Okay, you can go outside partner now on three for leader. You continue down the room on the four and you join back together on the five, six, seven. So I'm not worrying too much at the moment about the hold, I'm just doing where the feet go. Okay, we'll do one more. Should we just come forward a bit? Can't always see that. So your invitation, you start it. Now on the second step, leader, you take a slightly longer step. 
which allows you to prepare step outside the partner on step three. You are going to move in step four. Side close, side close for five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so your outside partner on three. This way around here. So we've got our invitation. One, two, outside partner three, four, collect again, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, hope that makes sense with the feet. Let's just do feet first. Feet first. And then we'll have a little look at the hold. Just the feet. Keep it both ways. Here we go. Invitation. Walking outside. Side closes. Resolution. And again. Okay, so all right, I'll just double check any questions and then we'll have a look at the frame. Okay, Brenda can't stop tonight as they have a family Skype for the bank holiday. Oh, right, okay. But we'll be with us on Wednesday. Excellent. Okay, this is a lovely gem of a little dance, to be honest. So if you keep these two videos, keep the links to these two videos, and just bring it out when you need to because it's a gorgeous dance. Mm -hmm. It means you don't have to fly around the room with your knees as well. Together, right, do you want to explain the whole? Yes. I'll switch on. Um, the, uh, the embrace, as we call it, or the abretto, uh, this is a close hold. So um, we are going to be uh, stood just slightly apart and um, we lean in to each other, just touching. Okay? It's, it's almost like an A. Um, yeah, don't go too far. Don't apart. go too far. Otherwise, yes, you see yeah, it. Yes. We see. You mm. want to be straight. Yes. So find where's mm. comfortable. Mm. So the buttons here on my waistcoat are just at my partner's right shoulder here. So I'm looking across my partner's right shoulder. So we just get that feeling there that we're just touching. Then my right arm here goes underneath my partner's left arm, and it goes around. Her, right round her waist if we can. So the, the tip of my fingers are round her right hand side. So if we just move round here, there, okay? And I've also got my thumb perpendicular, which puts rigidity in the arm. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, there's that rigidity. So leave this, just try that at the moment without it being round your partner. Just put your arm there, lift that thumb, and you'll see that rigidity come through the forearm and up here to the bicep because it's in there where your lead is going to come from. So, so the forearm is parallel to floor ish. Parallel to floor. So it's not down or up. Okay. So like so. Okay. So this is the position for our right arm. Basically underneath our partner's left armpit. And there. Now here, because we're in this hold here. Um, it really doesn't give my partner too much leeway to do her own thing, not unless I move her away, okay? So if I just move, in fact, realistically, my hand is very little. It's my, it's the, the bicep and the arm. This is what's doing it, okay? So I can move my partner around there, so my hand's not even on my partner's back, okay? There. And that's, in this dance, that's what you're after. It's all about this uh, leader's right arm. So if we're moving off and going to the side especially, that lead comes from the right arm there, okay? So we've got that first part of the embrace. So we've just touched like an A-frame and we've now got our arm right round our partner's back. The arm is level, fingers if we can just nipping round the edge 
of our partner's right hand side. Then we've got our partner's left arm. Which will end. Yes. So followers, we can go high, we can go middle, we can go relatively low, but <laughs> much <laughs> low. <laughs> um, but you want to have your forearm parallel to floor. So it doesn't really matter, it's up to you, and it's about the height difference of you as well. We're a similar height, but I quite enjoy being across the shoulder line because um, because we're a similar height and I feel it connects me at the top part of my body. If you've got a big height difference, you might feel more comfortable further down. Um, in terms of head, you can if you connect, you might connect to the same height. Don't go for the connection if you've got a huge height difference. Um, also, a big height difference. You might just have a, a shoulder here and you won't be able to see anything, in which case turn the other way. And you can still connect there, so you're a bit further apart there. Right, so you can still connect this side and be aware this is your space here. Or you can do it. Well, absolutely fine, whichever one you prefer. Okay. So as long as you've got space to breathe and just see what's going on. Okay, that's this one. So we've done this side. Mm -hmm. Now then, leader's left hand. Okay, he's going to take his partner's right hand in his and he's going to lift it up. Now you can see Shanna's fingers there. So between that Y of my thumb and first finger there, okay, that's it. She's going to drop that middle finger in there and the rest just cup inside. Now then, my four fingers here come round the back of my partner's hand and you can see that we've actually gone from this flat heel into what we call a strong arm hold. I've turned that in. So if you see that now as to what's happening with my left and my partner's right hand, there's the hold. And my arm, my left arm, is level with my shoulder blade. Okay, it's not forward and it's not back. It's level. And we're aiming to keep this part of my arm level out as well it's not down there because this is my partner's balance my left hand is my partner's balance and we're not leading with this we do not lead with this so two hands up um so in ballroom we always connect we have the hand hold and there's our center so it's equal distance between the two of us in argentine tango it's a little bit different so we're going to rotate leader's palm inwards to face you so you face your face and bring the elbow slightly further back so it feels like it's flat across the back okay like so and then we've got the slight a frame we've got the parallel forearms to floor turns where you turn mm -hmm. the way you turn and if you don't want to get this close you can just slide it open a little bit but everything else remains the same that was a lot to think about wasn't it was yeah should we try and let's shake it out Let's see what we can remember. So, I'll put myself back on. So, you want to be far enough apart, you want to be slightly offset to the right. Just enough apart, you have to work this bit out for both of you. So, if you go forward, just lean to the front of your feet, you should meet. And it's the higher part of the chest. So, again, ballroom, we do a lot of ballroom, would be the hip line. This is the top line. Okay, we've got it's going to wrap around for the embrace. Both forearms are parallel. Leader's thumb is up, we've got the strong man hold, and then when you're in this position, just rock, well, just change the weight from foot to foot and see if you can just lead lady round using the crook of your right arm only. If you're not sure if you're doing it, followers, let go. Can you still follow where he's going? I hope he doesn't try and trick me now. <laughs> okay. Good. So it's quite a different feeling. It's much more, much more social. Okay, good. They're all having a go. Right, so let's do the walkthrough of the first count of eight with this hold. Embrace. Okay. Embrace. Can I just start again? I'll switch off. Okay. So I'm going to come to hold. I'm just going to get that slight A frame. Mm 
Now, readers, once uh, you get this bit and you, you, you feel that you're in the correct position, just then, just go from side to side and just feel that your partner's picking that lead up from your right arm. Then, when you're ready to um, step backwards, we'll lead it towards you. To the side, outside partner, and you've got two side closes to finish. Did you hear all of that? I will. Very yeah. sad. So, we're going into our embrace leaders, and then we're just going to do this very gentle sway either way there. Now, when I'm ready to leave my partner, I'm going to lead her towards me. So, if I take my hand off her back, okay. I'm going to lead her towards me. Now my arm takes her to the side. Now my chest takes her forward. And we go side, close, once more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How is that for you? I know, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. It's a lovely dance there. Okay? Yep. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let us know how you got on. Is that okay? I mean, normally, Followers, we wear kind of five, six inch heels in this, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And it gives a beautiful leg line. But obviously, it, I think I think we're all staying flats for the minute, don't mm -hmm. we? But it does give a different leg line, a different feel. Because if you're on three or four inch heels, you do have your weight pitched forwards anyway. So it's a different feel entirely. What do you do with heads if man is eight inches taller? Look to centre. Leave. Well. Righty ho. So, um, ballroom, when we dance our ballroom, everything is encouraged to be up and out, isn't it? Stretch out, fill the room, stretch in weight. Tell you what, Strictly's coming back on. We'll have to talk about Strictly after. Mm -hmm. um, so, in weight, this big vase, this big spreading of the heads, ballroom. Uh, Argentine tango, the complete opposite. It's all about the conversation between you extremely kind of intimate it's just the two nobody you don't even know anybody else is on the floor so just the two of you like a private conversation so as a follower i feel the connection sort of within us as in the conversation connection is here here so i'm always aware of what's going on with the chest which is the part of the lead the visual lead as well so if you're particularly tall and um, followers got nowhere to look, then just follow a turn ahead to the side so you can concentrate. So if you're behind it, it might be there if that's the, diff the height difference. But leader, you also want to be aware of this area, don't you? Yes. So you feel as though that's the that's the connection between you here. So it doesn't matter on the height difference. So you, I won't say you're looking down into it, but that's where you're. That's where your focus is. It's not up there. No, it's just the two you. The two of you is all that matters on the floor. You shouldn't even be aware that anyone else is on the floor. Okay. Yes. Anything else? Okay. Here, much more to dance and steps. Oh yes, very very much so. Very much so. Okay, should we have a few more goes? Do you think with the music? Yeah. And then we'll um, we'll see how you all go. But we've got another eight. We've got four eights in total, haven't we? A little sequence. Sequence dance. <laughs>
Okay, very good. Good, lovely. Good, I'm just making sure nothing else was coming in. Well done, everybody. Very good. So that's our basic eight, that's our Baldosa box. Mm -hmm. So I think it's half past, so shall we have a look at another section yes. we could do? And okay. we can perhaps syncopate, use this, use the and counts in this one as well. Yeah. Do you want a little go? Yes, we can. Should we do leader first? Yes, we can. Okay, so our second eight. Leaders, we're going to start off with our second eight. Once again, we're taking a step backwards. So we're going to go back on the right foot, to the side on the left foot, and we're going to go forward on the right foot. So that's the same as the uh, the box we've just done, the first three steps. Now we're going to do a twinkle, okay? So we're going to close our left foot to our right. We're going to go back on the right, close the left to the right, and step forward on the right foot. Do that once more. Okay. <laughs> so we've got a one, two, three. Okay. Which is so far the same as the other one. Which is exactly the same as the first oh. box we did. So there. So we've got a one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. So if you're unsure about that twinkle, I'll just do it once this way again and then turn it around. So we've got a one, two, three. And four, and five, six, seven, eight. I'll turn it around. So we've got the invitation. We've got our one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. Once more. We've got one, two, three. And four and five, six, seven, eight. Okay, follow up? Yes. Oh, David's just come on. Oh, excellent. Good evening, David. David's doing a walk for charity. Ah, uh, uh, right, okay. Let us know. But I think you've got family. Ah, uh, right, okay. I think if Karen's there. Hi, Karen, Michael. Um, okay, so I forgot to do that. Okay, so our second eight as follow up. So the first three steps are the same. So one, two is the invitation, three. But we're going to close our right foot, a little twinkle, and four. Do the same thing again, and five. And then we do the resolution, the step side, close to finish. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're just changing the middle part. Do it again. Invitation, one, two. Then we've got our two twinkles, step, close, step, close, and then we've got our exit, six, seven, eight. Okay, and we're just using the and count between the, the beat, but it's one, two, three, two, two, three. So I think it's the three we use. I'll double check in a sec. So it's one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, Seven, two, three, eight. Yes, yeah, the three. So it's the third count of the bar. You do your twinkle on. Does that make sense? So it's one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three. So you can delay it slightly. It's not an unequal split in the music. It's not an album, really. Okay, should we have a small followers? Are we okay there, Phil? Any questions? Yes, no, everything seems right. to be going really fine. <laughs> really fine. Mm. And so it's one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I know what your question's going to be, it's how do you lead it? But we'll go through that in a minute. How do you know it's coming? Okay, do you want to do that to music first? Yes. Now? So leader to music. I'll go this way first. Yes. Mm. 
Here we go. And one, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, six, seven, and again. One, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, once more. And one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. And one, one straight in. Two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and again. And one, two, three, and four. One last go. And one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. Super. Lovely. Okay, so I'll have a go as a follower. Mm -hmm. You're right to start the music. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go together. The second Ooh. eight. Two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, are we all right with that? I'm sure we're okay with that. We'll have it. You've probably already had a go together, but just in case you haven't, we'll just have a little go through. Not listening to the tree. So it's outside part of twinkles. So if you haven't had it already, we'll just show you. So you've got your one, and remember your two always is a little longer for leader. And then this little twinkle section remains outside partner. Step, close, step, close. And then you've got the resolution, come back in line at the end. Okay? So you start off in close, you end in close, but the middle section is all outside partner. Just once more. Do you want to do it from? We don't do this. So we've got invitation. A little syncopated bit. Gives you a little flavour of the Viennese music there, doesn't it? Makes it feel mm -hmm. like you're using the counts within the main bar as well. So, music, I think. Music, and we'll just repeat that second eight three or four times. All righty. Oh, it's, you'd be singing it all night now, singing it all week. Um, no comments <laughs> at all. They've either gone to sleep, because it's so, you know, just dreamy, it's all dreamy, isn't it? Um, they're watching, or they're dancing. And I'm hoping it's the third one. Okay, so we have got two sections now. We've got our basic Baldosa box, and we've got the little twinkle section as well. So, got it, Julian, well done. 
So um, shall we put the both road sections road. together? So you're straight in after each section we do this week, we'll start with the invitation. Mm -hmm. So you can just put them in any order you like. They're all eight, all eight counts. Practicing here, loving it, got it, very good here. Well done, everybody. Well done. Right. Okay, so section one, straight into section two, back to section one, into section two. Okay, one, two, one, two. Baldos of Ox. Section. Baldos of Ox. Twinkle section. Baldos of Ox. the biggest clap I've ever seen from Cheryl and John. <laughs> it's a massive clap. Um, good. So, isn't it lovely and subtle? What you want to do and feel with this is you want to lose yourself in it. Yes. Um, the, the hold, the abrezzo, the embrace is up close and personal. So, dancing Argentine tango, whichever variation you do of it, is all about you and your partner. It's dancing as one. So um, nobody else matters on the dance floor, uh, and especially with this um, lilt of a, a Viennese, uh, this, this is so beautiful, uh, and it's slower, uh, you can just completely lose yourself in it. So um, the, the idea with all Argentine tango is, man, you're taking the lead, leader, you're there to lead. And uh, this close embrace is that your partner is just that fraction behind you. Uh, so you've got to give it a good lead each time. Do you know what? We have some lovely comments coming here. Mm -hmm. um, John Goldberg, thank you very much. It, it's Valtz Gitano. Is that Guitar Valtz, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Guitar yeah. Valtz, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, it's the music name. But I haven't got that written down here no. on my list. Mm -hmm. But yes, I do have the, I don't know how to say this, Tango Dad, it looks like. Uh, Tang, U-E, Dad. Mm -hmm. But that's the, the group, as it were, the artist. Yeah. Um, I Yeah, that's on mine as well. Yeah. And um, Andrew Rooney, comment of the day, close your eyes and just go with it. That's the one. I would suggest it was the follower that did that yes. right now, though, yeah, otherwise yeah. you might end up in the sofa. Yeah. So let's do a one or a two, section one or two, mm -hmm. and it's leader's choice. It's those dreaded words. It's leader's, leader's choice. choice. Do not give any indication to follower verbally which one you're going to do use that arm and this is terrifying for me because I find the twinkle the hardest one to follow because there's another one we do now Shanna which I love. love she wanted to give you an idea of the lead into the twinkle mm. so we said if I place my arm around Shanna now okay if I'm going to lead her towards me the lead comes from my forearm yeah if I'm going to take her to the left okay it comes from inside my arm here against my partner's left hand side there. Now, if I'm going to take her back the other way, okay, I just use the in, the, just the tip of the finger there, which she gets early, to take her back the other way. So, so long as I've got her in this embrace, then I can move my partner anywhere. And if I take my hand off her back, okay, it is an embrace, 
Okay, I'm not using this, my, my left arm, because this is my partner's balance. Now, if I'm going to take it forwards, that lead comes from my chest. And this is the important part about my partner focusing here. So as I go forward, there. So we've got the twinkle. So if, if we go through this twinkle now, to lead my partner forward, it comes from my forearm. To take it to the side, it comes from here. Now, as I take my third step, it comes from my chest. Now, as I come to do the twinkle, here stops. She feels that stop. Now, as I close, my chest rises. Now, to bring her back to me, it comes from this arm here. And as I close, she feels my chest rise. Now, as I go forward again, my chest takes her forward. It'll keep taking her forward, and as I go to the side, that finger, just that finger there, takes her to the side. This is great in theory. This assumes that I am very receptive to that. We do another bit, and we might go through it on Wednesday, and I really enjoy it, and it's syncopated in the same way, but it keeps moving. And, and I always enjoy that, and I always want it to be that one. So I'd be really, and I'd really concentrate on that. Okay, it's going to be, don't, don't just edit this, I'll edit this bit out now. So you, you know, if I go wrong, you won't see. <laughs> when you watch it back later, it'll just be like a cut in the middle. Um, yeah. I'm gonna do my best. Okay, everybody, let's have a go. Leader's so, choice. Leader's choice. We'll give it what maybe six counts of eight. Yeah. Eight counts of eight. If you want to keep do, going, if you want to do the first two the same, it's up to you. just to get a feel for it's it, leader's choice. and then try and change it. Yep, yeah. completely up to the leader. Mm -hmm. It's those terrifying words. Here we go. Please don't watch. Follow us if you're brave. Close your eyes. Yes. I might do that. She's a ballroom dancer, can't you? Because she loves her routines. <laughs> no, no, I love the swing. You know, normally I sort of swing out, and when it's so subtle and so small, mm -hmm. and you have to switch everything else off, and I do have to switch forty years of dancing ballroom mm -hmm. off. Yes. Whereas Phil did come to it from scratch. Sure, and yes, so yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. so it, it was suits you down to the ground. This one, mm -hmm. Argentine tango, is just. Uh, second nature to me. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I I just have to look at a couple of um, the leader steps, and I know exactly what the, the follower should be doing. I can uh, I can dance the follower steps. So, should we swap around and have a go? Um, Ian Fetmore, what are the heels and toes in the twinkle? It's interesting. Um, the footwork in general, 
I'm sure Phil will say, you can either do as a leader, heel or ball flat. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything is, you don't have any toes at all. Mm -hmm. But um, to follow that syncopated, I find you do need that slight bounce to it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need a, I feel like almost like a swing up. Otherwise, I don't, I just, I just, I can't read it. I actually do go ball flat and I'm, and I'm aiming to, to take that rise through. So I go one, two, three and four and five. So yeah. I'm trying to get that pendulum for my partner. Yeah, so it does help it. because I can feel yes. the, the sort of the collection of the weight, yes. like the absorption of that energy mm -hmm. and then take it back the other way. And I need that, otherwise I just can't read it at all. Mm -hmm. um, so footwork wise it is ball of foot. We wouldn't mm -hmm. normally do that, but because it's fast as well, yes. I think you can get away with it there, can't you? I think it helps. Yeah. How did it go for everybody? Did you manage it? Part one and part two? Watch for the furniture, I know. Ian Blackmore, yeah, for Monk. Um anything else we can say with what time is ten to? Um should we just have another practice? Is there anything else within it we yeah. haven't mentioned about turning it? You normally know, turn it on the, the one, two and the seven, eight, don't yes. you? Yes. Um, if, if you're um, dancing on your team tango, there's really no right and wrong. True. Um, there isn't. So uh, what, what, what I don't want to do is try and sort of get, get these steps in and then, oh, we went wrong, whose who fault was that? Uh, leader, um, we'll, we'll come more to this on Wednesday night, but... Um, when we're dancing Argentine tango, it's perfectly permissible just to mark time. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And just walk. Just just walk. Yeah. And with this, you can feel all the eight counts. So, for instance, if you miss a beat, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't matter at That's, all. Doesn't matter. Um, so if you miss another beat, so say you've gone to the side, one, two, three, and you're unsure, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just mark time. Particularly if you've and got off balance with your balance, partner. Yes, it's, um, with this, if you do get off balance with your partner, it becomes slightly awkward, and, and that's not what you want. So if you're not in, a close embrace, you'll find that you can come out of balance with your partner quite easily. So the close embrace helps to eliminate that. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if we come into this close embrace now, okay, now I know Shanna can actually, with her eye line, watch my chest all the way through this. So um, there are other indications as well as that when I'm actually going to go and take my first step, she'll feel me go down. I go down into my standing leg. It is subtle, but she'll feel me go down and we're off. And then I take Oh, gosh, there's so much we could cover. Yes. We are just touching the tip yeah. of the iceberg here. Yeah. Just touching the, the way tip. you move from foot to foot is entirely different. Yes. Um, how long have we got? Got five minutes. Let's just talk about the feet just for a smidge and then we'll have one last practice before we finish. Mm. Okay. So two parts to each step. Yes. So when I take my first step, we we've, we've done well, I, I said that um, about just taking this little step side to side to get this to feel the rhythm. This in Argentine tango is known as the rechichesa. This is we're just getting ready. We're getting our partner ready so she's in sync with us. So I'm upright and we've got that A-frame, okay? So when I'm ready to just then to make that first step, okay? There I'm going down. She knows straight away yeah. that there's the movement, so I'm stepping straight back. Now, you'll notice my second step, what I don't do is that, okay? My step closes. I finish the step off, then on my second step, I reach out and I find the point where I'm going to stand before I put my weight on it. Now, I can take my partner with me. And because I know on that second step, I'm taking a wider step than my partner, okay? Then also, this comes into play, my arm. So what I don't do is take my foot out there and then bring the right across. Here, as I take my left foot out, 
on the edge, okay? Inside I've edge. gone down on the inside edge. This is where I'm going to place my step. Now, my lead across is slightly more gentle for her so she doesn't come right across in front of me. So I can finish her there and that gives me the room to come outside. So to follow as well, we've got a collection between each step. So the step obviously is where you transfer your weight. So as we step foot on the one, we have a collection first, which just comes in collects, then places, then trans, trans, um, what do you call it? transfers weight, collect, find it, transfer weight, collect, find it, transfer weight, collect. It's completely different. There's no swing. So we don't swing onto it, which is 40 years of ballroom was a lot for me to undo for this dance. I'm sure it will be the same for you, but try it, it makes it so much better. So you always, inside edge for follower as well, find the place, then transfer, then collect. So it's, when you go together, you always have this collection all the way through, which should keep you together. So you, you do a step, collect, step, collect first, step, collect, step, collect, step, Collect, step, keep going, step, collect, step, collect. The collection here, what that bounce, so we can, we're doing the same situation. Oh, okay, yeah. So, like, but it comes into play again. Now, you might not be able to see this when you do. Step, collect, collect. Okay, so you have this collection between each step before you move off. It's like two parts to each step. That may make no sense at all. But hopefully for some of you, it might have just said, oh, okay. So in Argentine tango, when you take a step forward, leaders, okay, this my step to the side and I've placed my weight on it. So now my right foot's going to come across. Now, as I take my right foot through, it slides through on the ball, but then I go to the heel. On the to the ball. Now I collect. Now, if I'm going to keep walking, which is called a camarando, Okay, now once again my foot slides through and I go to a heel, into a ball. Now as I go to the side, okay, inside edge, hold foot, inside edge, close, inside edge, hold foot, inside edge, close to hold foot. So you finish every move off before you yeah, make the next one. Absolutely. Okay, we're just coming up for eight. Mm -hmm. So we'll have another go through, I think. And Those maybe two. we just keep playing. Julian, you've asked, um, can you do them one and two separately? You know, you can do a one, one, two, one, oh, one. Absolutely. 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 So, it, and just very quickly, you can turn it. You can only turn it to the left. You can turn it in the invitation or the resolution, the first bit or the end bit. So if you feel you want to go over there, you come to a corner, the invitation, Turn it on, it's normally step two and step seven. Mm -hmm. Just rotate it to the left, because that's the, you know, the mm -hmm. side bit. It's like a waltz bit, isn't it? Forward side or back side. Okay, righty ho. So let's have a go. We'll go from the top. Please can we do a one and a two? We can. I feel, I feel before when we ad libbed, See, we always, when we dance this socially, we always do a basic first. Yes. And I thought and that... I didn't. And he didn't. <laughs> and I was thinking, just do your basic. <laughs> That's what went wrong. Okay, here we go, everybody. Enjoy the music. Last go. Like Andrew said, close your eyes and go with it.
Touches of Argentine tango in yeah. um, that make the dance so um, uh, refreshing. Mm, it is a completely refreshing mm. dance. You to get wrapped up in the music um, and in, with your partner as well. Then, as we said earlier on, there's um, nobody else on the dance floor. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we're aiming for. Yeah, and it stops, um, and you and you beam. Mm. Oh, yes. it's and it, yeah, you just beam it when it finished. The um, some people get the impression with Argentine tango that it's all flicks and kicks and it's almost stationary. Well, Argentine tango yeah. isn't like that really. Um, it moves around, around the room, anti-clockwise. Salon tango. Salon tango, uh, just like ballroom does. It moves around the room, so you want it to move. Um, and it's, as we said, it's perfectly permissible to use the walk. Argentine tango has a lot of walking in it, which they call the caminando. Uh, and that walk, as we explained to you, um, is this movement through. Movement collect. Through to collect. 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 Collect and go forwards. Um, and um, it's a dance that allows you to incorporate many other things in there. You can do cross steps, lock steps, uh, rebounds, Wednesday night. Yeah, rebound. from rebounds. Yeah. Um, uh, back archers, maybe. From back archers, yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, there's all sorts in there. But as we said just earlier, that you know, we're just touching in We're just giving you a little introduction. Touching. Like all these little tasters, just yes. a little introduction to it. Yes. It's, yes, gorgeous. Um, right. And the lovely thing about it is that if you get on the floor to do this, it's experiment. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Have a go. Yeah. Just try it yeah. out. Just try it. If it goes wrong, yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Sometimes you find better moves when it goes yes. on. Mm -hmm. We'll do that again. So it's there for you now, anyway. You'll be yes. putting it on for them. Yeah, we'll be on now. Yeah. Yes, and we should be back on Wednesday evening. Yes, a bit more on Wednesday. Tango we'll, bells. We'll go over it again. These first um, two, two lots of eggs. Two lots of eggs. We'll add a bit more. We'll mm -hmm. see how we go with time. Yes, and uh, we'll do some more Wednesday. Yeah. Um, next week, must say, we're going to do the new IDTA winner, which was the Cha Cha Pedita. I never know if I say that correctly. Famous song, isn't it? Pedita. I think that's how you say it. Um, so next week, but it's by private group only. I'm sure most of you already know this. Um, if you want to join us, just drop me a message and I will give you all the information. It's a small charge. It's £10 per couple household. Um, for both sessions and access to the groups, but you'll get the videos afterwards. So if you can't make next week, uh, but you still want to learn it, still come and join in as it were, because you'll still get the videos. You won't be live, mm -hmm. but you still get them afterwards. Yes. And you'll have them forevermore. So if you come to it in a year's time or something at a sequence dance, you will still have the videos. They won't be appearing anywhere in public no. because of the copyright. Yeah. So next week, Cha Cha Padita, private group, and then we're going to go back to a free-for-all, as it were, or donation-based, uh, the week after. Yes. Okay, but next week, the cha cha chat. And Zoomers, we'll be back on Friday. Yes. So uh, we'll see you all on Friday. Yes. Uh, so you keep practising your um, dances. Yes. And if you've joined us tonight for this um, tango vals. If this is your first one tonight, because you saw tango, and you fancy trying other styles, Ooh, keep coming. Absolutely. Stay with it. We do a different thing every week. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So, until Wednesday. Yes, I'll tell you about Strictly on Wednesday. Yeah. Stay well, stay safe, um, and uh, from us. us to you, good night everybody, take care, we'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.